Heavy fire in the zone! Adjusting aid. recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative, to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed.
was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. You are being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hours Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta 3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Delta 4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta 4? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like... Something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Vollen, what's he saying? He's saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover.
Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Delta 2. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Delta-3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. Delta One is down. Central, we're taking fire for multiple X rays. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Damn it. Delta Two, your flank two. Find some better cover. All right, Delta Two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire.
Nice shot. Delta-4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Now get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta-4. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta-2. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Affirmative. We are coming home. What are they? Whatever they are. They nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. 
This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlin. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander to mission control. Commander to it mission sounds control. like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Dropship has arrived. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Move into position. Good. Now open the door. Quietly, so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay, now take cover inside. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier.
Affirmative. Moving out. There they are. The rest of you, advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. Roger, Dodger. That's affirmative. Moving to position. That was close. Kill confirmed. I'm on the move. Commander. Adjusting sights. That's affirmative. On the move. Great work out there, people. The commander will be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons. So keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. On my way. On the move. On the move.
On the move. Eyes on target. On the move. Location confirmed. Veteran's rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using for cover. And if we're lucky, it'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. Roger, Dodger. There's heavy fire in this zone. On my way. On the move. On my way. Adjusting aim. Adjusting aim. You're okay, soldier. But another one like that, and that'll be the end of you. Make sure to stay in cover. Carefully, soldier. You only get one shot. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, 
The reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our Chief Engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. And they'll take their funding and additional support with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days.